Hey guys, my name is Savannah, and this morning Frontier announced update 1.12 coming to Planet Zoo on December 13th. Now, of course, this will be a free update, so if you own Planet Zoo, all you have to do is update your game on December 13th, and all of these changes will apply. And, of course, we are hoping for a DLC here soon, meaning that we likely will see that same DLC on December 13th, with announcements coming either tomorrow, maybe early next week. We'll have to stay tuned for what the DLC actually entails, but if you don't want to miss out, do hit the subscribe button, because I will be sure to let you know as soon as I get any information that I can share. Now let's go ahead and jump into what this update has for us. Hey, oh zookeepers, it's beginning to look a lot like a Planet Zoo update. It's time to celebrate exciting new additions coming to Planet Zoo. Introducing free update 1.12, which is heading your way on December 13th. The very first thing being added in this free update is guided tours. It's time to give your guests the VIP treatment with the guided tours coming. Guided tours are a brand new way to offer guests more in-depth information about your zoo and your exhibits. Tours are personal and will be conducted by an educator. They will then guide your guests through the zoo and educate them with lots of wonderful facts about your animals as well as life at the zoo. Guided tours are also completely customizable, which means you will be able to plan out your guests' journey through the park by placing tour points at desired destination. This means guests will be specifically guided to the habitats you assigned in your tour for them to admire and the places they stop to recharge their needs. A unique and unforgettable experience each time. The VIP treatment also means more opportunities to earn additional income for your zoo. Guests will have to pay an extra tour fee in addition to the zoo entry price and will also spend money to take care of their needs during tour breaks or after with their desire to spend money relating on how well they rated your tour overall. I think this is a wonderful addition to the education features in Planet Zoo. Guided tours, behind the scene tours, private tours are all very popular and very realistic of what real life zoos do to generate sources of income. And having tours be an option for an additional source of revenue in our zoos has been something that we've asked Frontier for for a while, so I'm very excited to see them finally implemented. Now, I do hope that these tour points that they're talking about that you can place down to set the different destinations, I do hope are relatively small or easy to hide. Some of the education things like the keeper talking point is a rather big speaker object and although you can hide it it does get a little difficult sometimes so i'm really hoping that whatever little node or little object that they have us place down is relatively small i'm thinking like the vfx object the little black object that you can place down where your vfx come out of i'm really hoping that it's something similar to that and that it's easily hidden in your decor. For those of us that don't want it to be visible and we want to integrate it into the kind of uh, surroundings of our zoo. Another thing that I'm potentially thinking you can use this for is since we can place down these tour points anywhere in our parks that we'd like, you probably can put them in your backstage areas as long as the pathing is something the guests can walk on, I'm imagining. And therefore you can pretend like some of your guided tours are behind the scene tours, backstage tours. People love seeing the behind the scenes, seeing how the animals are cared for and learning more about them that way. So you can kind of make either, you know, behind the scenes tours, upfront tours, just all sorts of different things. So I'm really hoping that that is something that we can kind of work into the zoo. I really don't see anything new in this screenshot that we're looking at right here. This poor little guy though, I imagine his arms are gonna get very tired if he has to carry that sign around his entire tour, but I don't see anything new. There's pandas in the background. These are all build pieces that we have in game. It's not a new path thing and I don't see any new foliage. So it's just a really pretty screenshot. The next addition to free update 1.12 is diorama mode. Inspired by one of our Planet Zoo community members, Rudy Renkimel, we're introducing the new diorama mode, a new type of terrain for you to create your very own diorama. 
you can select this new terrain type in sandbox mode and it will provide you with a blank diorama that you're free to build upon as you'd like. You can then upload your diorama to the Steam Workshop to share it with the rest of the Planet Zoo community. I think this is such a nice little addition. Rudy Renkemal is a wonderful creator and started this kind of diorama trend a while ago. So the fact that they have taken that from their community directly and implemented it into the game, I just think it shows how much Frontier really does care about their community and their community members. So this is a wonderful little addition. If you haven't made a diorama yet, this is your chance. And it looks like they've given it a really cool background in that it's kind of just floating in like this white sky kind of background. So I think that's really cool because then we don't have to create kind of the um, simulated blank backgrounds with the build pieces like we were doing before. So really cool that they have added this into the game. And last but not least, the bulldozer tour. We've also made removing things in your zoos a little faster by adding a bulldozer tool in update 1.12. It's now faster than ever to remove a large amount of scenery, path, and objects in your park. You also have the ability to mix and match what type of objects you want to remove with the bulldozer. Combining the functionality to remove multiple types of items at once using one tool is sure to make the experience of building and rebuilding more satisfying and streamlined. This is awesome. So if you guys are not new to the channel, you'll know we are remodeling River Rock Zoo right now. And the start of every build includes me deleting a whole bunch of stuff. And right now with the multi-select tool, it's really easy to delete build objects and foliage, but things like pathing, benches, trash cans and stuff all have to be deleted individually. And it is a bit time consuming. So this bulldozer tool I'm hoping does include trash cans and benches, but it'll make it really easy to remove all those things from River Rock when I'm remodeling. And I love the addition of the fact that you can kind of select which object it's going to delete. Meaning that if you have done a whole bunch of foliage in one habitat and you're really not happy with it, and you just wanna select the entire habitat and delete just the trees and plants that you've placed down, we should hopefully be able to select that. So I think this is a wonderful, more quality of life update for the game. Just like they said, making things a lot more satisfying and streamlined. As always, these exciting new features in update 1.12 come with various fixes and quality of life additions, which will be included in the full patch notes upon release. We'll have more news for you soon, but until then, join us later today at 7 p.m. GMT or 11 a.m. PST for a very special live stream where we'll also go over in more detail what's coming in update 1.12, uh, and it'll be on either Twitch or YouTube. So that's it. And to be honest, this is a fairly small free update, and that leads me to believe either one of two things. They're playing their cards close to their chest and they are not letting us know everything that will be coming in the free update because something is probably really exciting or really game changing or really big, I'm not sure. Or option two being that the free update is a little bit small because the DLC coming with it is going to be relatively large. So I'm hoping for the latter. I'm hoping that the DLC is kind of a big one. Maybe it's birds that I've been hoping for. Please, oh, please let it be birds. But either way, this free update as it stands right now is a lot smaller than a lot of the other free updates. So there potentially could be more content that they're just not showing us right now, but it's the end of the year. So I'm really hoping for something big from Frontier and you guys know how much I've been asking for birds over and over and over again. And after we got that bat exhibit, I'm really hoping for smaller aviary type birds uh, that fly around. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's what we'll be seeing. I'll be hanging out in their live stream just to see what is going on and hopefully putting out a video kind of covering anything if it is announced or if I have any guesses. So do be sure to hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out. I'll keep you up to date as best I can. And if you made it this far and enjoyed the video, or if you're just excited for Planet Zoo, leave a like down below. It really does help me out and I greatly do appreciate it. 
As always, you can follow me on any of my social media accounts. All those links are down in the description below. I very much appreciate you watching, and until next time, I will talk at you in the next video. Bye!